already done. Thanks, Leshy, Leshy, whatever. Oh, I can talk about Katrina. You tell about your meeting with Katrina. It was a good meeting. We filled out a couple TPS reports. We made some plans for future training for all the new on board hires. And we had to figure out what to do with that new coffee maker that we were giving and what we're going to do with the old Keurig. I completely missed what they said. I hope it was nothing important. All right, well, enough already. Let's see what she has to say. Anything new? Oh, we can talk about Irana. The magician Irana's death is shrouded in mystery. I do not know her true fate, but I only know that her staff protects the town and her... And we know that really the only blind spot she has in her vision has to do with the Dark Ones. So the fact that it's mysterious kind of ties them together. Uh, staff? The staff of Irana has a great deal of magic. It protects the town from the undead. Although, between you and me, the townspeople do not know it. But I had a vision of it one night. I heard it speak in the dream. It told me how it protected the town and of its destiny spell. Does it protect them from bunnies? When the staff spoke no more, I saw a most beautiful crystal floating in the air. This is important. The staff touched it, and the crystal shattered. Oh, that was all I saw. So it's kind of similar to my dream with the big floating bubbles, but I don't think there was any shattering except for my psyche. Jimmy. The staff said that it would guard the town until it cast its destiny spell. That one day, someone would bring a dead loved one before the staff. That person would trade his life force through the staff. The dead would rise, alive and well. Though the one who gave his life for the dead would never know. That would be a true sacrifice, done with foreknowledge and with much love. The staff still stands in the town, so I do not think anyone has been willing to make such a So here's the question. So we know we need to use the destiny spell. Not that we need Arana's staff or anything, but this is... It'll come into play later. But once the staff is no longer in town, the destiny spell, it's basically fulfilled its destiny. Does that mean the staff will no longer be protecting the town? Is it like completely in danger? I don't know. Whatever. Garden! Irana's garden is to the south, and a little west of here. It is a very good place to rest and heal. Don't add your part. I see you adding words to your script here and there. Bush, whose fruit was sweet and filling, and always available. But someone dug it up and took it. Why anyone would do such a thing, I do not know, I do not know. And then throw it into a pile of goo. I don't think I've ever actually ever tried getting the fruit off of that little tree. I didn't even know it had fruit. I gotta go check that out. A magical spell can get the fruit. Done. Alright, well, let's try to learn some things that we don't know. Alright, here's a couple of bucks. Not that I have anything to worry about as far as... I haven't really thieved much at all in this game. Oh, well. There you go. Silver, silver, jingle, jingle, jingle. Again, we ask the cards to reveal what was. What is, and what might be. Alright, here we go. Let's figure this out. Queen of Cups. I forgot who that was. Zerona? Aha! Maybe? The mystery woman will now be revealed. Let us see oh. that which was her distant past. This must be Katrina, then. Distant past. What do we got? Eight of Swords. I can read that one. In her past, she has been dominated and defeated. Her significator Maybe card reinforces this impression of tragedy, of some cruel event that shaped her life. Let us learn more. All right, good. I like lettuce. A sideways... Does he snail? Snifter? Sna Strength. Strength. It is the card of courage and defiance. That which bound her in the past could not break her. She gained her freedom, not through luck, but through her own actions. All right, I'm kind of curious who bound her. Inner qualities. The tragedy of her past has molded her present, but she alone has shaped her life through fortitude and determination. All right, we get it. She's a strong, independent woman. That which is in the more recent past. All right, now, let's see how I factor into this. The Magician. That must be... 
Adivis, who are we think to be Adivis, maybe? The sign of the Magus, the master of magic and self. She has great power and self-confidence. Okay, so it's not him. This can also imply self-deception and illusion as well. Be wary. Oh, adding your piece. Now, let us learn what else the cards will... The devil. Oh, I'm not sure which way it's facing, if that matters. An inverted death. It's inverted. Mm. This signifies stagnation. She has not grown beyond the past. Rather, she is trapped by immobility. Mm -hmm. She is changeless, and her gains have been balanced by her losses. Poor gal. So, what can... Alright, the present. Maybe now it's me. The Ten of Cups. I don't think that's me. I'm like the Jack of Cups or something. Ah, this card shows that she is working towards some goal. Uh -oh. Some desire that has yet to be fulfilled. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. But it can also show power used for selfish purposes. Some result she desires, heedless of the cost to others. I'm getting mixed signals on her. Again. And this looks like the Two of Cups? Not inverted, that's standard. Aha. Oh. This is the card of love. Her present is influenced by affection for another. Are you saying she likes me, likes me? Seems that our mystery woman is falling in love with someone. This is not what she was striving for. It is something in addition to her current goals. How can that be? I barely I met her. Reveal the future as she would have it. Uh, does that mean I have a girlfriend? Are we, like, dating? Uh, the world. Okay, subtle. The world. Ah, it is the summation of all desires and goals. It can represent the reward of all one's actions or the admiration of others. So she literally wants the world. It can be the symbol of eternal life. It can mean attainment of ultimate power and perfection. Ah, uh, now will the cards reveal more of her desires? Alright, last one. That's, oh wait, the void won't show up until the end. Let's see what this one is. The uh, Seven of Cups. Okay, it's actually a really standard deck so far. Good play. Now this is truly the card of illusionary goals. That which she seeks to gain is only a delusion. I wonder if they actually did research into tarot cards and what the, each of these mean, and this is like an actual reading. ...are very different things. She cannot see that she is seeking an illusion. And should she attain her goal, she will ultimately lose. Now, let us All right. see the... Alright, place your bets. Who's going to say it's the Void? The Void. The Dark One plays a part in her present and future as well. Somehow her goals are linked to it. It? Him? Her? Everyone in this accursed land is affected by this... I don't even know why I keep oh, that card in the deck. Never set foot here. The reading is over. No more shall be said about this. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. The cards have spoken, and so have I. At great length. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Bye, I got stuff to do. You say goodbye. Goodbye! Keep your ears and eyes open. Oh, and that we weird voice. Again soon. I hate that. What's so weird? I wonder what happened. Like, did they forget to record some of her lines? Or maybe there was like some sort of problem. They lost some of her lines. They had to go back to an earlier actress or someone had to fill in for her. I don't know. That's weird. Okay, let's check our inventory. So there's a couple things we can do. Number one, we got to get the hu good humor bar back to the gnome and finish that quest up. We got the doll, so we got to go back to the castle. Uh, the pie is done. We got these two rituals, though, for unknown purpose. This torch is still burning a hole in my pocket. I think we are good. So let's head back to town first of all. Because it looks like I can use a bit of a rest because my stamina is zero. Now, where's town? <laughs> Come on, Sneaky, get in there, come on. Use your, use your daggers, use your daggers. There you go, there you go, hit him, hit him, hit him! You're gonna die! And you're dead. Well fucking done, Sneaky Feet. Automatic save, where did it save me? 
Oh, good. Okay, so we can try this again like it never happened. All right, let's just play it safe. This might take a while. Whittle them down. Sneaky feet. I can do better myself. There you go. There you go. If anybody asks, that took one try. Then again, I admit I did not put a lot of work into the stratagem of that fight. Whatever. I don't even care about fighting here. Oh, right. I can come out here and meet Katrina every once in a while. What time is it? Oh, it's the dead of noon. All right, so there's the staff. So now what it says makes sense when I try and pull it out. This I must first do. The sacrifice of life for one of love. So that's talking about the destiny spell, which is the staff's ultimate. Ultimate, not alternate. Uh -oh. Nikolai has disappeared. You know he has. We talked about this. That Nikolai. Whatever. I haven't talked to Olga in a while, too. All right. Maybe I can finally talk to him about Tanya. Oh, I can talk to him about Vampire. Oh, the Rizoka! I haven't done anything for her yet, either. Rizoka! In the folk tales of this region, we have always spoken of those beautiful maidens who seek to drown whomever comes near. I do not know if the Rizalki are real or not, but they make a good story, hmm? Hey, he's squinting at me, giving me that stink eye. Oh, vampires! We do not like to speak of such things in Mordavia. Ah. It is considered bad luck. There have been always rumors of vampires around here, though. Alright, still not really willing to talk about Tanya, and I can't say anything about it. Well, whatever. Let's get some food. I haven't been able to talk to Bella yet, either. You eat your plain but nourishing breakfast. It has more than a bit of garlic added for spice. Oh, does it, John? Oh! I can talk to her now. She's sitting there smoking her pipe. You get a smile. Oh, hey, now we can finally talk to her and say, Hi, Bella! I am fine, but I do worry about you at times. Aww. Please, take care of yourself. I know that heroes need to do dangerous things, but try not to get into too much trouble. Okay, honey? Oh, she likes oh, me. Oh, Bella, leave the poor man alone. No, someone's got to be I nice to me. I just want to make sure you'll be all right. Don't hack me. Oh, oh, the ad living. I love it. Okay, let's see if we can get to the the bottom of this. Let's start with, uh, let's just ask her everything. Staff! My mother used to go to the garden or the staff whenever she was unhappy. She said that the staff always made her feel safe and warm. I have always felt such feelings there as well, I might add. All right, that's Baba Yaga's voice. Okay, it took me a second to place it, but that's her. That the staff was from the mage Arana. That it was Irana's final gift to Mordavia when she died. Oh. I only know that you should visit there at night sometime. Perhaps you will have a pleasant dream there. Is that a way of saying don't sleep in our inn anymore? Just, oh, see, begin the sleeping. Good night. Irana, wake up. My grandmother used to tell stories about Irana. How she was part fairy folk and unearthly beautiful, and she brought kindness and magic wherever she went. <laughs> <laughs> Wives' tales. How'd you guys get married anyway? The true. Somewhere in the forest lies Irana's garden. Yeah. My grandmother used to visit her sometimes before the woods got too dangerous to travel in. Oh my god, she's so chatty. All right. No, Bella. It is too dangerous outside the town walls. I know, Yuri. Still, someday I will go there. You'll see. Oh, oh boy. I feel like I'm really getting in between. No, no look. No, she's like perky and bubbly and Yuri's like, uh, whatever. This must have been some kind of arranged marriage. I cannot see these two actually like dating and being romantic. Dreams! Even my husband has dreams sometimes. I keep trying to tell him to believe in his dreams, that they are trying to tell him something, but he wouldn't listen. Okay. Uh, Bella Town. I still can't ask him about their daughter yet, which is really kind of off putting. Domovoy! I used to see the Domovoy. 
When I was a child, I'd sneak down from my... Well, punctuation problems. ...and look for him. He was always hiding somewhere downstairs, and he would laugh. <laughs> when I found him, he would be hysterical, the dumb boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Now that I'm an adult, I don't see him. But I do know he's still around. Okay, you know, I appreciate your ad-libbing, but that was fucking creepy. Tom! Well, you have probably met nearly all the men in town. Most of their wives work very hard this time of year. Yeah, they're canning vegetables, uh, making new clothes, uh, schlepping blankets. Schlepping blankets? Uh, providing for the winter. And what are the guys doing? Well, this may be the time for men to relax from the harvest. But for the women, yo, yo. it's one of the busiest times of the year. All right, Bella, I like you. Let's talk more, but just not now. Uh, goodbye. You get a farewell wave in response. You'll just have to trust us on that one. All right, let's go up and talk to uh, Punny Bones up here and give him his ice cream bar. At the door. I do lose health from that. That sucks. All right, buddy. Did I tell you about the time there was this guy walking into an inn with this big necrotor following him? If I say yes, would it make a difference? To the innkeeper and ask for some stew to eat. The innkeeper looks nervously at the necrotor and asks the man what his pet will eat. And the guy replies, anyone he wants. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Eh? You hand the nose. <laughs> the good I like how you do it automatically. It's like, please, for the love of what God, eat this. this. You're trying the old hot pepper bar on me? Hey, hey I'm the professional, kid. Don't try this at home. Not on a gnome, anyway. Hey, it looks good, though. Just eat it, please. He eats the good humor bar. Bah. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Hey, I feel funny. I mean, really funny. What was that thing? That's... Yeah. You tell the gnome about Baba Yaga and the good humor bar. Bah. Thanks, pal. Guess this yuck's on me. This jester just can't thank you too much. You're my hero, Nero. My main man, Stan. Doesn't sound like it worked yet. Maybe he'll put on another show, which is actually good. All right, so... As a Bobby Yoga, there is this pie, you see. So you got by with a pie, aye? My, my. Always knew the way to Bobby's heart was through her stomach. Probably someone she ate. You know what they say about cannibals? Always having a few friends over for dinner. I guess this good humor bar takes a little while to kick in because, well, he'll put on another show, I bet. Oh, so, uh, well, what are you going to do now? Well, now that I'm back in the funny business, it's one more show and I'm back on the road. I'm going to show these yokels that he who laughs last just didn't get it. Uh, well, let's, one last conversation here and see if he knows anything else before he goes, rumors. A flying rumor never has any trouble making a landing. I heard that the shopkeeper's husband left her because she was such a scold. She was a person who was quick on the floor. When she wanted his opinion, she gave it to him. All right, well, whatever. I'm glad you got the humor back. We'll see you at your last show, man. Bye. Some people spread happiness wherever they go. Others, whenever they go. Fortunately, you are the former. If you was the latter, you'd probably have a few rungs missing. Is that a compliment? I thought you were... Oh, uh, whatever. I'm almost sorry I helped you. Before you blow, Joe, I figure I owe you one. I'm gonna let you in on a secret only we know. Oh. Know. I'm gonna tell you the ultimate joke. Oh, I saw this. I saw this Monty Python sketch. You're gonna kill me with this. And whoever hears it is gonna laugh. Really laugh. Can't help it. Can't stop it. Kind of laugh. Only works once and should only be used in last resorts, Mort. It's the last laugh, so to speak. The best jest to the West. Yours for the telling. Oh, okay. The gnome tells you a rather silly joke. You find yourself laughing despite yourself. See what I mean, Gene? Tell this joke to a big bad dude that's out to do you in, then exit while he's laughing. Use it or lose it. Bye-bye, birdie! Alright, I guess I can see how that would be useful. It's kind of silly, but I'll take it. Hey, y'all. If you like what you saw, please remember 
to hit the subscribe button, which is the freaking bullseye. And if you want to watch a little bit more of the Quest for Glory stuff, click up there somewhere. And if you want to watch some other stuff that I've done, right down here, baby. That was really weird, my apologies. I've really got to shave. Oof. I'll pick one. Hey.